Hello, beautiful people. My name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how to's, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. And now it is and now it is the parting day. Brother has to go back to Montana. I don't think I'm gonna backtrack and go my planned route. There just really isn't a reason for it, and it looks like there's gonna be massive thunderstorms in the next few days. And today is gonna be like really the only small break in the weather that we've had in the last three days. <laughs> so, debating back and forth how far I'm gonna get today. I kinda wanna go see Fort Rock State Park. We're gonna find out together. Yay. <laughs> the first glimpse of blue skies in three days and it feels incredible. <laughs> We are at Fort Rock State Park in Oregon. Fort Rock is actually what remains of a volcanic island in the middle of a prehistoric lake. Obviously, there's not a lake anymore, but it's super cool. And it stands very starkly out of a very flat landscape around it. <laughs> I said goodbye to my brother this morning. It was very sad. He had to head back to Montana because, you know, he has work things to attend to. And I am headed back to Portland now. I did have to cut off a big chunk of my route that I had planned to do because of our detour from fields to burns yesterday to try to find shelter. <laughs> Everything in fields was booked up. A bunch of the accommodation that is available in the area was already booked up and we were lucky to find a hotel room in burns. And if you watched last week's video, you will know the debacle that we had with the hotel room in, Bo in burns. But the important thing is that we found a place to stay. We were nice and toasty warm. We had Wi-Fi, And today we got to get off on a fresh start without having to pack up wet tents. However, staying in hotel rooms for the last three nights or so has depleted my budget quite a bit. So I have no option but to tent camp tonight, whether it's raining or not. So my goal today was to come and see Fort Rock, which was super cool and definitely worth the detour. And I think that I'm going to aim to go somewhere near Newberry's Volcanic Monument and try to find some place to camp over there tonight. I'm hoping that since it's a Sunday, a lot of people will be on their way out and I'll be able to find a place to camp. Fingers crossed. And I'm just so, so grateful to have a break in the rain. It's been undescribably amazing to not be riding in the rain. I think about sometimes that I talk about the weather a lot, but it does um, affect me a lot more than it would if I was traveling in a vehicle with four walls. <laughs> it may not be as interesting after the fact, but it does have a huge effect on me right now. <laughs> All right, I've taken my break. I've had my little snack. We should probably get back on the road so we can find a place to camp before the sun goes down. Welcome to home for the night. Let's just keep our fingers crossed it don't rain on me, all right?
Tada! I'm being super lazy today, and we're just gonna have a can of soup because. Well, I don't want to tempt fate and cook something complicated and um, have it rain on me. <laughs> the place that I picked to camp, if it does start raining, I'm going to have to pack up and leave because the road out of here could get a little gnarly if it gets muddy. So, that being said, we're just going to think very positive, dry thoughts. <laughs> And it's not a matter of just like going and getting a hotel room because that's gone. It's off the budget now. That's not a possibility. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's fine. I also got myself a cookie from the little general store for dessert. Just to treat myself. Because it's the last night of the trip, you guys. Crazy. But for right now, we're going to get this started. can't believe this is the end. And just like that, dinner is done. I'm not gonna lie, it's that part of the trip where I just wanna be home now. It is like a full two days earlier than when I planned to go home. Can't really control the weather. And it felt really silly to backtrack and go south again, especially since the weather is going to stay pretty mucky and rainy down where I was supposed to be today. I need to be back in Portland by Tuesday night. It's Sunday night right now. I'm probably going to be home tomorrow night. The trip feels naturally over at this point. I was a bit deflated when my brother had to go home this morning. <laughs> But it's always amazing getting to travel with my brother. And I'm so glad that he got to come anyway. Despite the fact that it was raining pretty much for the whole part of that trip. And we didn't get to go see Leslie Gulch. But that has definitely been added to our we have to go back and see that in the future. But we did get to see Sucker Creek and the Pillars of Rome. And my brother got to finally see the Alverd, which just means so much to me. And it was beautiful. We couldn't ride on it, but... The water on the playa is a whole other kind of pretty. <laughs> it's been a good trip. It's crazy to think that this is only, this is day seven. And it feels like it's been way longer than that. And also no time at all. It, isn't that weird how time does that? Good morning, beautiful people. We managed to get through the whole night with no rain. Awesome. But it's starting to piddle just a little bit out there. Not enough to be super concerned about, but enough that I'm gonna get my butt up and start packing just, just in case. <laughs> it's about 7 a.m. Time to get moving. It might not pack down the smallest, but I've been very, very happy with my sleeping bag on this trip. And I'm very, very glad that I had a zero degree and not my old 20. So, <laughs> worth the space that it takes up, in my opinion. It, in combo with my new X-Ped Down Mat 9, has been the perfect combo. Especially for these super early season camping trips where the weather is kind of mm, at night. Gotta fold up the sleeping pad now. It's the worst part. I don't mind stuff in the sleeping bag. Not a big deal. Folding up my sleeping pad so that it fits back in its bag is like the worst part of packing for me. At least the ground in the forest is nice and soft from all the pine needles and the mulch and everything underneath the tent. 
so that my knees aren't killing me like they normally would be by now. <laughs> normally I have this towel, it's like a pretty pack towel um, that I also use to double as my knee pad when I'm camped in places that are kind of rocky. So while I'm packing up and everything, I have to keep moving this to wherever I'm gonna move with my knees. Um, and it helps a little bit, enough that I continue to do it, but this is much nicer. Oh, excuse me. Here we go. Last stretch to home. Should be about four hours or so. <sighs> Gotta decide what pass I'm gonna go over. <laughs> and got a chai and uh, a ham and cheese croissant at the Spokomoto here in Bend, Oregon. It's always a really good stop, so if you are running through town, definitely take the opportunity, stop, have coffee, have a pastry. They do have um, food carts out on the side, so if those are open, that's also a great place to maybe pick up some lunch. Anyway, feel a lot better having some food in my stomach and uh, hopefully it'll give me the fuel that I need to get over the pass. I did check the cameras. It looks like it's raining no matter which way I go. So I think I might be going over Mount Hood again, just because it looks like the storm over Mount Hood is just at the top. Yeah, it's the way that I came over, but better of two evils, right? This is Smith Rock State Park. It's just outside of Bend. It's really popular, so I'm really surprised there aren't more cars right now. But I passed by the state park so many times, I couldn't not stop for this trip. So, <laughs> pretty awesome. home in the rain. A little bit of a different looking loop than what I had planned setting out. Uh, I was supposed to come this way, but obviously that didn't happen. Uh, we hit a lot of rain while we were over here, so still pretty decent looking route, you know, despite hitting rain pretty much the whole time we were over here. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little trip around Oregon with me. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. If you would like to support the channel for as little as $1 a month, you can support me over on Patreon and get early access to videos like these ad-free before the rest of the world. If that's not up your alley, that is totally okay. I totally understand. I appreciate you guys just for being here and watching these videos every single week. And in the meantime, guys, 
Question from my end screen crew. Tell me about the biggest detour you had to make because of the weather. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.